Dear audience, Today we'll show you how to make beautiful terrazzo candle holders step by step. In just a few minutes, you'll have all the information you need to create your very own candle holders with a stunning terrazzo design. The initial task is to create fragments of terrazzo. To begin, you should get a piece of plastic wrap and place it flat on a surface. Then, retrieve your Bawanite kit, which you can learn more about by clicking on the link located in the top right corner of your screen. Making your own Jesmonite creations can be an exciting and rewarding experience. Let's get started! To get started, the first step is to mix 50 grams of powder and 15 grams of Bawanite liquid. It's important to mix them well to ensure a smooth consistency. Here are some tips to help you get the perfect mix. Use a clean, dry mixing container to avoid any unwanted impurities. Start by pouring the powder into the container, then add the liquid gradually while stirring. Use a lollipop stick or silicone spatula to stir the mixture. Be sure to scrape the bottom and sides of the container to incorporate all the powder. Stir the mixture until it's fully uniform and there are no obvious large particles. This should take about 2 to 3 minutes of continuous stirring. Once you have a well-mixed base, you can add your desired paint color. For this, add 4 drops of red pigment and continue stirring until the color is evenly distributed. And there you have it! With these tips, you're now ready to create beautiful jesmonite pieces with ease. Don't forget to share your creations with us. First, slowly pour the stirred liquid onto the plastic wrap we prepared earlier. Make sure to pour it in a circular motion, starting from the center and moving outwards. This will help to spread the mixture evenly. Once the liquid is on the plastic wrap, use a stirring rod to gently spread it out. You want the mixture to be smooth and even, with no bumps or lumps. This will give your final piece a polished and professional look. Now, a common question people have is about the thickness of the mixture. While there are many opinions on this topic, we recommend keeping the layer of liquid at around 5 mm thick. This will give you a solid piece that is not too heavy or too fragile. Remember, the key to success in this step is to take your time and be patient. Don't rush the process, and don't worry if you make mistakes. With practice and experience, you will soon become an expert at Buenite crafting. Terrazzo is a material that has been used for centuries, but with the right approach and creativity, it can be brought to life in modern and unique ways. Here are some tips and creative solutions to help you make the most of your terrazzo crafting experience. First, let's talk about the materials. While traditional terrazzo is made with marble chips and cement, there are many variations that you can experiment with. For example, you can use recycled glass, seashells, or even colorful beads to create a unique and eye-catching design. Next, consider the color palette. Terrazzo is known for its bold and vibrant colors, so don't be afraid to mix and match different hues. You can create a stunning contrast by pairing light colors with dark ones or choose a monochromatic scheme for a more subtle look. When it comes to creating the pattern, the possibilities are endless. You can create geometric shapes, organic forms, or abstract designs. To achieve a cohesive look, you may want to draw your design on paper first and experiment with different layouts. One of the key elements of a successful terrazzo piece is the finish. You can choose a glossy or matte finish, depending on your preference. Additionally, you can add other materials such as metal or wood to give your piece a unique and unexpected twist. When creating terrazzo, the solidification time is around 6 hour. If you pour the liquid mixture onto a horizontal surface, it will take even longer to solidify due to the increased thickness of the layer. Once the terrazzo is solid, we need to separate it from the plastic wrap and turn it into fragments. 
To do this, gently peel the plastic wrap away from the solid terrazzo. Once the terrazzo is removed from the plastic wrap, place it in a tray or container. You can then break the terrazzo into smaller pieces and use them for a variety of projects. One creative idea is to mix different colors of terrazzo fragments to create unique and colorful designs. You can also use the fragments to create mosaic patterns or embed them into other materials like wood or concrete. Remember, the key to success in this step is to handle the solidified terrazzo with care and patience. With a little creativity and experimentation, you can create beautiful and unique pieces using your terrazzo fragments. The Jesmonite kit includes AC100 alternative base powder, 5 pigment colors, water-based acrylic liquid, lollipop sticks, paper cups, a large silicone spatula, sander, sandpaper, and gloves. With these tools, you can begin to experiment and create unique Jesmonite pieces. To make candlesticks with buonite, you'll need 300 grams of powder, 90 grams of buonite liquid, 10 grams of water, continue stirring until the mixture is well combined and one drop of blue pigment. 70 grams of terrazzo fragments. Next, add the terrazzo fragments that you've prepared earlier into the mixture. When adding the fragments, be sure to add them slowly and stir gently to prevent air bubbles from forming. Air bubbles can create weak points in the final product and make it more prone to breaking. Continue stirring the mixture until the fragments are evenly distributed. We will pour in our mixed terrazzo liquid one by one. When pouring, we first fill the cylinder inside it, and then at this time, we should stop pouring liquid. We need to massage our mold, because when pouring, the liquid contains air, so according to my posture, the air in the mold is released, by repeatedly pulling the edge of the mold. We can continue pouring liquid up to the top of the mold. After pouring, we need to gently tap the edge of the mold. The remaining two candlesticks are also the same process. You just need to watch my technique carefully. The next step is the most important scraping. What is scraping? It is to get the excess part of the mold out of the mold. So how to do it? We just need to find a ruler or something straight. Just move from the position of the edge of the mold to the opposite position. If this step is not done, the shape of the mold will not be obvious and there will be redundant places. What you see now is a sample of our handheld mirror. Let me show you what happens if you don't scrape the edges of the mold. I believe everyone can clearly see that the edges of the mirror will be connected together, and there will be different phenomena of potholes on the edges. This phenomenon greatly affects the appearance. So everyone must remember to scrape this step. Demolding your terrazzo-style candle holder is the next step after pouring the liquid and letting it cure. Before you start, ensure that the liquid has completely cured as per the manufacturer's instructions. Gently pull the edges of the silicone mold away from the candle holder, taking care not to tug too hard and cause any damage. If the candle holder is still stuck, place it in the freezer for a few minutes to loosen the mold. Inspect the candle holder for any rough edges or imperfections, and smooth them out using sandpaper or a file. Next comes the sanding part, remember? The sandpaper for sanding can be cut to the size you need. Today we are teaching you how to make terrazzo style candle holders. Now the color of the candle holders needs to be polished with sandpaper before they can be revealed. 
Use sandpaper to sand out all the colors of the candle holder, but please note that the inside of the candle holder cannot be sanded. Because there are four textures inside, it is designed to fix the candle. After polishing, our terrazzo-style candle holder is absolutely stunning and ready to be admired. I'm confident that if you follow the ratio we provided in today's tutorial, you'll be able to create beautiful candle holders just like mine. Your artistic skills are truly impressive. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you next time!